back here at the truck camper I am routing and cleaning up all the joints cleaning up the exterior what I mean by that is rounding all every single one of these I'm rounding all taking off the corners of every one all the way around cleaning it up it looks better and it's taking just a little bit of weight off Still, I haven't sanded it down this far. I've only done to about right there. Obviously, as you can tell the difference. And then up on top, I've started that. The ceiling is back where it should be. The uh, from the center where I connected the two, the one over to the left, I have to raise it up an eighth of an inch, quarter maybe. It's no big deal, they're just screwed in there from yesterday. I haven't glued them or anything. It's just one one uh, screw on top, one screw on bottom. But they're all uh, getting routed. Help me with the weight. I'm gonna do every single one on it. I haven't done this side yet, obviously. Tail, scribbling, things of the nature on it. This side looks so much better it's straight but i still if you can see on the very top that's going to be my plane mark that's why that is in there i'm going to go back three foot to the front of the cab over and i'm going to mark it off all the way to the end and i'm going to plane it down one eighth of an inch to where it's got a slight angle on it both sides so it'll be level so it'll be square and i'll have the same uh grade on it i believe it's great and that side's the same way. Go to the front, all the way to the back, to where it gives me a guarantee that no water will be sitting on top. The uh, all the ones in the center on the roof, all those are flat. They are also um, level. One from uh, north and south, east and west of the top of the camper. Or from front to back, whichever you prefer. And it looks so much better. It looks cleaner. But, uh, windows are straight. Still got to sand, sand it back down. And uh, like I said, just cleaning it up. And then uh, I will put uh, fiberglass. I think I'm going to put on all the bottom. Uh, Except for maybe in one area around the fresh tank. I don't want them to freeze. So I was thinking of running the heater vents through there. Through the floor. I'm still looking on uh, videos for that. I haven't seen anybody do that yet. At least that I've found. But again. Uh, just working on getting the corners cleaned up. Sanding everything flat. I'm not trying to change the angle of anything. I'm just trying to clean it up where it's flush, the belt sander, I think it's a 10 inch. So I'm not changing the angle any. I'm just going through the shims. And I'm just uh, going flat, board to board, board to board. And then going up, cleaning that up, moving over like that. When I'm done with that, that'll all be flush. All of them will be flush and clean. And like I said, I got fiberglass house wrap. And uh, fixing the things I did yesterday, trying to hurry up for the sun went down. But that's it. And uh, that's all the uh, sawdust from it. I already blew it everywhere. Part of my tarp. This is just from routing. I'm only rounding it off, I think it is a uh, three quarter inch from top to the bit to the furthest furthest point so it's actually taken off anywhere from a three eighths to three quarters of material it's not changing the structural integrity of it but it is cleaning it up in addition removing a little bit more weight not much but it matters and i'm not doing any of the exterior lines everything on the outside is still square everything on the outside will be square 
it's just on the inner portions where there'll be no phylon, no uh, trim, things of that nature. Anyhow, uh, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and have a good day.